What's going on guys, welcome back to Nolan TCG, and we are back here today for another deck profile, and this time, it's for Madolce. So originally I wasn't probably looking at doing a Madolce profile for the rest of the format, but then I realised how good this deck can kind of be with the small world interactions, and kind of the added consistency that that card can add, and ultimately I decided to definitely just sit down, give it a good test, and I really enjoy playing this deck with the small world. It does take away a little bit of your proficiency in terms of the disruption cards that you can play, um, not necessarily because you can't play them, just simply because you lack that space to kind of freely put in another 3 to 5 generic kind of disruption cards. But that doesn't really matter. The, uh, the deck's super consistent now, it can play through a lot. Uh, you can also, like, rather interestingly search disruption cards, which make it quite cute. But, as always, before we do get into this deck profile, please remember to drop down below and hit the subscribe button if you are new here, because we are always happy to have new people to the channel. And, let's get on into this deck profile. Before we do get started on this one, though, it is brought to you, of course, by YourPlayMat.com, who got us our beautiful Nolan TCG Extra Deck sleeves. These are available on YourPlayMat.com, as well as you can get custom sleeves and custom playmats, so whatever you need for the current format. Uh, there is an affiliate link in the description down below that does get you a little bit of a discount on your order. Also, enter the code uh, NOLAN10YP for 10% off your order. Also kicks back a little bit to the channel, so everything will be very much appreciated. If you're shopping there, you're getting custom sleeves, custom playmats done. Make sure to enter our code at checkout. But, let's get on into this deck profile. Okay, so starting us off for our Madolce deck, we do start off with the three copies of Madolce Petting Cessar, of course. Uh, just your free combo for the entire deck. Uh, have no, no monsters in your graveyard, slap it down on board, away you go, good times. Uh, then we have after that our three copies of Madolce Angeli. Uh, just again, another starter card, you tribute summon from deck. And then the last of our starters is three copies of Madolce Magili, normal summon, add. Pretty straightforward, uh, each of them will get your entire combo going, so 9 copies, hopefully you'll always see one of them. Uh, then for the rest of our Madolce line, we do have the 2 copies of Madolce Hootcake, uh, another card that can be a really, good, a really good and solid transition piece for all of your, uh, essentially your combos, I guess, that you can pull off with Small World. Uh, then after that, we've got the 2 copies of Mess and Gelato, uh, necessary 2 of, of course, uh, one's just simply not enough, if you draw it, you want to be able to summon it from your deck, and then have very fun times. And then lastly, the brick that you have to play, it's one copy of Madolce Pudding Cess. Uh, then we go through the rest of our monster lineup. These are hand traps. Um, again, uh, the only kind of, I guess, traditional hand trap that goes into the graveyard we're playing is Herald of the Orange Light. Uh, simply because this card can be used in tandem with Small World to search a lot of your engine pieces, um, which is rather cute. You can also search this. If you have it a good hand, you can go the Small World, uh, ditch a fairy, and then that can get you through to the Herald of the Orange Light, and then you have Disruption for your combo to, say, turn off something like a Nibiru. Uh, then, one copy of Pancratops comes in after that. Again, another card that you can search with Small World that you can use to break boards. And then another card that you can use is three copies of Cyframe Gear Gamma. And then, of course, the One Driver as well. Uh, then we go into our spell lineups. So we have the three copies of Metal Chase Salon. Uh, I've been experimenting with cutting this down from 3, but ultimately 3 just lets you play through so much stuff if you open up like a somewhat decent hand. Say if you go like Salon, 2 Medolches, and then 2 to 3 Disruptions, depending on... Like, typically you will go second with this list, so you're going to see hopefully 3 Disruptions are opening in. You top deck another. Consistency, let's go. Uh, play through a hand trap or a major Disruption. We're on a ramble though. Uh, then after that, for our other Madolce cards, we have the one copy of Chateau and one copy of Ticket. It's all you need to play for these guys. Ticket is a cuttable card, but it is definitely a huge power play when you do open it. Then for the next main addition, uh, the card that adds a whole lot of consistency to your list, that, that is three copies of Small World. Uh, you're just going to be using this with any Madolce card pretty much in your hand to get you through to either a Disruption or a different Madolce card. And then, yeah, overall... Good times. Good times to be had by all. Uh, then our general kind of consistency draw card that we choose to play. I like to play Pot of Extravagance. Your extra deck doesn't matter in this deck. Um, however, I choose Extravagance over Prosperity because I like to be able to OTK the opponent, given that this, card can, uh, this deck can OTK rather easily. Then we get into the major disruption card for our spell line. That is three copies of Lightning Storm. We're just going to be using it to blow out the opponent, hopefully. Uh, blow out a back row, then use the monsters to deal with their monsters, and then you win the game. Hopefully. Good times. Uh, and then, last of the spells, one copy of Call by the Grave for stopping your opponent's traditional hand traps. Uh, then our trap lineup, we do have the two copies of Madolce Promenade. Of course, this is your main deck, I guess, imperm that you can make if you're chosen to go first, or if you're made to go first. 
And then another card that you can rather really cute make in the deck. Uh, this is cuttable. I just really, really like playing it. Is the one copy of Madolce Knights. Okay, now we go into our extra deck. And this is, of course, very straightforward because we are playing Madolce list. That is three copies of Madolce Queen Tiramisu. Um, yeah, everything in this extra deck is at three. So you have the one copy of Tiramisu to shuffle cards back into the deck. Uh, the two copies of Teacher Glass Souffle. Make itself unaffected. This is typically when you're going first and you don't have anything else to shuffle back. This is going to be your transition piece. Uh, three copies of Madolce Pudding Cess Shocker a la Mode. Of course, this is going to be using the special summon from the deck. And then you really start to pop off once this guy... I wouldn't say this guy. Uh, once this lovely lady has been made. And then the card... The Madolce card that I make the least. Uh, it is three... Co oh, sorry. Yeah, three copies of Madolce Fresh Sis Start. Uh, then for the last of the extra deck, again, I very rarely go into this stuff. I could very well just be playing the deck wrong. I uh, don't think I am, because I quite enjoy it, and I play quite well with it. But um, yeah, uh, for the remainder of the extra deck, we have three flex cards, one copy of Nightmare Phoenix, one copy of Tornado Dragon, and then one copy of Divine Arsenal, Double A Zeus. But that does wrap us up here for the deck profile for this one. Pretty brief one, given that it is pretty straightforward as to how the deck functions. And you're playing just pretty much set ratios of everything. The only variance that you're really going to be looking at is if you're mixing in things like other hand traps or things you could change. Uh, you could typically look at something like a Nibiru. Uh, you can play Impermanences. I just wouldn't recommend playing anything that will sit in your graveyard. Uh, something else that I don't really like playing is Shifter. I've gone through that in other Medulce lists on the channel previously. I just really don't like Shifter. Every time I'm resolving it in Medulce, I find it's like not the best because sometimes I need that graveyard uh, for stuff like Hoot Cake to make things work. Uh, but yeah, you do have the Shifter. But ultimately, yeah, I just get a little thrown off with the way the deck basically functions under Shifter. Uh, but yeah, as always though, I've been Ben from Nolan TCG. Uh, do make sure to comment down below any changes and recommendations that you would make to the deck. And as always, have a good afternoon everybody.